Hello again folks. Today I'm going to show you how to change your mp3 file to a WAV file um, for putting into uh, PowerPoint presentations. Um, generally, like an mp3, you can't embed that into a PowerPoint presentation, whereas you can with a WAV. But the normal run of wave when you when you change it to a wave um, in some of the uh, converters, it the wave file ends up way too big, and generally it's um, too and it's just too big um, for a PowerPoint presentation, especially if you're going to send it an email. Um, it'd be rejected by the uh, email provider because it's too big. But it, to start off with, it's you need to have your presentation in in a folder. In this case, I've got it on the desktop, just for convenience sake. Um, I'll click on there, and I need to... I've actually put it in this one. Uh, I'll just take that one out so I don't confuse you. Uh, okay, we've got... Your PowerPoint presentation, and then here we have your MP3 file I in that folder. Okay, we'll go out of there. Now, the thing with this program called CDEX, you can actually get it for nothing for free off off the internet. Uh, just go into the Google search and type in CDEX. That's C D E X, and um, download it from there. Um, the difference with this converting with this program uh, to WAVE is that it actually uh, it pulls your computer into thinking that it's actually a WAVE file. But in actual fact, it, it is a WAVE file, but it's only the size of an MP3 which I, I said earlier on they're a, a lot smaller so uh, I'll just show you we'll click on CDEX when it comes up that's your little panel just go up and this is all left click left click convert come down to add RIF wave header and click that and then up here and that's the the files and we've just got to find that folder that we've got got the here we are beautiful nature uh, this is the one here that's it there so we'll click on there and click OK and there it's found the mp3 file that's in in your folder. So all you got to do is click convert and it's done. So we'll get out uh, we'll get out of there. Have a look here. And now you'll see that there's two music files here. Top one is the original MP3 and here's your new wave file. Um, and as I just to um, go over it again, mp3 you can't embed in a powerpoint, you w your WAV file you can, but this converts it to a WAV file, but it's still only the size of an mp3, it pulls the computer into thinking it's a WAV file alright folks this is part one of, of um, two, the, the next uh, little presentation I'll make is to do with actually embedding um, the, the sound into your presentation. So we'll leave it at that for the moment and I'll catch you very soon. Thank you.